was out on the West Coast trying to make a buck, and things didn't work out. I was down on my luck. Got tired of roaming and bumming around, so I started thumbing back east toward my hometown. Made a lot of miles the first two days, and I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held out this way. But the third night, I got stranded way out of town. At a cold, lonely crossroads, rain was pouring down. I was hungry and freezing, done caught a chill, when the lights of a big semi topped the hill. Lord, I sure was glad to hear them air brakes come on. And I climbed in that cab where I knew it'd be warm. At the wheel sat a big man. He weighed about 210. He stuck out his hand and said with a grin, Big Joe's the name, I told him mine. And he said the name of my rig is Phantom 309. Well, I asked him why he called his rig such a name. He said, son, this old Mac can put them all to shame. There ain't a driver or a rig or run on any line that's seen nothing but taillights from Phantom 309. Well, we rode and talked the better part of the night when the lights of a truck stop came in sight. He said, I'm sorry, son, this is as far as you go because I got to make a turn just on up the road. Well, he tossed me a dime as he pulled her in low and said, have yourself a hot cup on old Big Joe. When Joe and his rig roared out in the night, in nothing flat, he was clean out of sight. Well, I went inside and ordered me a cup, told the waiter Big Joe was setting me up. Oh, you could have heard a pin drop. It got deathly quiet, and the waiter's face turned kind of white. Well, did I say something wrong? I said with a halfway grin. He said, no, nah, this happens every now and then. Every driver in here knows Big Joe. But son, let me tell you what happened about 10 years ago. At the crossroads tonight where you flagged him down, there was a busload of kids coming from town. And they were right in the middle when Big Joe topped the hill. It could have been slaughter, but he turned his wheels. Well, Joe lost control, went into a skid, and gave his life to save that bunch of kids. And there at that crossroads was the end of a line for Big Joe and Phantom 309. But every now and then, some hiker will come by, and like you, Big Joe will give him a ride. Here, have another cup, and forget about the dime. Keep it as a souvenir from Big Joe and Phantom 309.